Hello, thanks for joining us. This is Storytime with Dream Ellison. Please like and subscribe to our channel. Today's book is Time to Sleep, Little Bear. It's nearly, nearly bedtime, Little Bear, called Mother Bear, gathering up his baby brother and sister. Come along, time for your bath. Little Bear sat by the edge of the lake. The fish leaped to catch the evening flies. Huh? The fish aren't going to bed, thought Little Bear. Why should I? It gave him an idea. Look, I'm a fish, shouted Little Bear. I don't have to go to bed. He began to jump and dive and splash. Don't do that, sighed Mother Bear. The babies are getting too excited to sleep. When they had all calmed down, Mother Bear took them back home. Go and get some nice, cool grass for bedding, Little Bear, she said. That will help you sleep. Little Bear went outside and pulled up a few pawfuls of grass. Some owls were swooping through the meadow. The owls aren't going to bed, thought Little Bear. Why should I? Little Bear rushed back into the cave and began to flap his arms. Look, I'm an owl, he hooted. I don't need to go to bed. Oh, Little Bear, stop that, groaned Mother Bear. Look, the babies are throwing all their comfy bedding around too. None of you will have anywhere to sleep. At last, Little Bear and the babies were safely in bed. I think you need a nice, gentle song, said Mother Bear. Now close your eyes. Little Bear went, wasn't listening. I saw he could hear wolves howling. The wolves aren't going to sleep, he thought. Why should I? Look, I'm a wolf. Ow, said Little Bear. Ow, 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 shrieked the babies. That's enough, Little Bear, Mother Bear growled. I don't want any little wolves in the cave. You can wait outside until the babies are asleep. Hooray, cried Little Bear, running outside. He charged across the meadow, howling, Ow! Then from somewhere close by, someone answered him, Ow! Little Bear jumped. There in front of him was a wolf cub with his family close by. Are you a wolf? The cub asked. You should like, you sound like one, but you don't look like one. Are you sure you're a wolf? Called a big gruff voice. Because you look like a little bear to me. I'm a bear. I'm a bear, shouted Little Bear. As Father Bear picked him up, good night, Little Bear, called the wolf cubs. Father Bear snuggled Little Bear into his fur. So you're a bear, he said. But are you a sleepy bear all ready for bed? No, said Little Bear, I'm not. But before he could finish speaking, he had fallen fast asleep. That concludes our story. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time.